Hi folks, I'm François from Shackmat. In this video, we will show and demonstrate our new module, the Dual Dagger, a stereo filter in 6 HP. Actually, the Dual Dagger contains four filters, as we have two channels, one and two, which both have two sections, low pass and high pass, both 24 dB per octave. Let's patch a chord coming from a braid from mutable instruments and let's have an ear on how the filter sounds. It's close to the filter section of the Nobi X from Hoverheim, for example. The potentiometer range is pretty wide as you have more than 11 octaves on both sections. And of course, both sections can be controlled by CV. And for the resonance, you have one shared and assignable control for both sections. Just use the assignation switch next to the resonance potentiometer. Of course, resonance can be controlled by CV. Let's add some resonance in the low pass section. can easily self-associate. Let's now check the high pass section with some resonance. Have a look to the link function which links the low pass cutoff frequency to the high pass cutoff frequency, meaning the dual dagger is now turned into a 48 dB per octave stereo bandpass filter with control upon the base frequency and the bandwidth plus the resonance at the edges. Let's now engage the link function with the switch. Let's set the bandwidth with a low pass potentiometer and the high pass is now the control of your bass frequency and let's add some resonance to both sections using the resonance assignation switches. Let's now check how the filter sounds on stereo mix with drums for example. So, how the dual digger would sound as a DJ style end of mix stereo filter. We have a beat loop coming at the filter input. You have a wide range upon the frequency control. And when you're closing the filter, you don't hear any subs at all. And same thing for the high pass when you have a tiny bit very high frequencies left when the high pass is fully clockwise. Let's now assign the resonance on both sections. use the link function the module is carefully calibrated to share the exact same control and parameters upon the two channels but it is possible to unlink and offset the cutoff frequencies of both channels for that purpose, we will use two inputs, pan low pass and pan high pass. By using the pan low pass input, you will open one channel low pass filter as you close the second channel low pass filter. So let's open the filter first. So again, by sending a positive voltage into the pan low pass, 
you will open first channel, so the left filter, as you will close the second channel, so the right low pass filter. And by sending a negative voltage, you will close the first channel low pass filter, as you will open the second channel low pass filter. As you can hear, this can lead to some very cool panning effects. On the same principle, you can control the pan of the high pass. Let's deactivate the link function. Take a LFO from an Arlequin's context. LFO which is attenuated on channel B. By using the attenuation, you can go from very subtle panning effects to really more dramatic ones. Thanks for watching and check out our YouTube channel for more videos about the dual dagger.